Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing. Hi everyone, it is Crystal, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you our hot. Cocoa bar. Now last year was actually the very first year I ever put one together and the kids had so much fun with it. It was great. It was a big hit for our whole family. So I think we have a tradition going now where I will do this every single year. Now I do not have like a dedicated like coffee bar or anything like that. I'm basically just going to clear off the space on our kitchen counter and keep it out for the whole month of December for the kiddos. And so today I'm just going to share that whole process with you. So Let's get started. Here is what everything looks like before. My plan is to remove everything from these counters and do some rearranging to make room for this hot cocoa bar. Now I did share a Christmas kitchen clean and decorate with me video not too long ago here on my channel. So I will have that linked above. I had a lot of fun doing that video. I decorated not only on our kitchen counters, but I also styled our built-in shelves that are more like a hutch as well as our sideboard. And so I loved that, but I always knew that I was going to be moving some things around over here to make room for this hot cocoa bar. I kind of did something similar to this last year where I just cleared off a space in this corner and it worked really well. It's for such a short amount of time, so I don't mind the extra clutter. The kids just get so excited over it. It's totally worth it. This light is something that I put up last year. It is from Amazon. It basically came with these sticky strips and it's battery operated. It gives us just a little bit of extra lighting in this corner, which is really nice when we are working over here or cooking. But I'm just going to start out now by placing all of the bigger items so I can figure out where I want everything to go. I am going to use my chicken wire shelf. I'm going to use it because I found the perfect sign that fits on it. And then I also like that it provides two tiers so I can display a lot of the hot cocoa goodies. And then I'm also going to be using my mug rack that is from Amazon. I will link this below, but it is so great. You can not only hang mugs, but then you also have the tray on the bottom for additional storage or decor, of course. My favorite part of setting all of this up is filling up all of the different canisters and jars with all of the toppings. Now all of the canisters you will see me filling up here were actually thrifted from Goodwill over the past year. So I found them for only a couple of dollars and I think they are just too cute. Um, so my, my snowman, I'm doing some mini marshmallows as well as some of the mini chocolate chips in his little hat there. And then in my Santa canister, 
I'm actually going to be dumping a bunch of hot cocoa packets in here. When we were at Costco the last time, these were on major sale. I can't even remember. I think it was like 98 packets of hot cocoa or something crazy like that. And it was so cheap. So anyways, this actually works easier to have them all in here with a little scoop because I make smaller cups for the twins. So I can just kind of portion it out a little bit better this way. Yes, I am on my way. The little wooden scoops are from Hobby Lobby for just a couple of dollars. And then in my other little snowman canister, I'm going to add some of these mini candy canes for a little pop of red. And of course, it's kind of fun to add a little sweet treat to go along with the hot cocoa. So I picked up these pretzel rats from Target and I was a little bit worried because they did not fit in my canister with the lid on, but you'll see I ultimately decide just to pack away the lid and have them stick out. And it even makes it easier just to grab one. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. To my shelf, I'm going to add this hot cocoa sign that came from Menards. And I had to add a couple of furniture pads to the bottom to lift it up just a bit so you could read all of the words. But I will say this is a little bit more decor than I would typically add. But honestly, it is just so fun to add all of the different toppings and the kids get so excited about all the options and details that I just can't resist. For stirring, I have these little striped wooden spoons that came from Hobby Lobby. And then I also found these Santa stir ones that I had from last year. They were just left over. I will try to link those down below if they are still available, along with a lot of other things in today's video. The work to be done on my Christmas run is the most tired chore. No girl or boy without a toy. So giddy up, root of my dear Eight pair of antlers On words ever go Desher and Prancer Moving through the Now I'm just rearranging all the little things in the cubby until I am happy with how they are set up. 
but the sprinkle one was just looking a little bit cluttered so in the front of the I guess the display area that you can see I decided to pull out these two glass jars that were left over from when I organized my spice cabinet and I'm going to add in a red and a green I have a little boy who is obsessed with green and I have a little one who is obsessed with red so we have this sugar sprinkle mix and then also some peppermint crunch but let me know in the comments below what's your favorite topping to put on your hot cocoa it's white outside and the night is cold everyone's lighting candles in their Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas All Snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. Cannot forget to add some adorable mugs. I did pick up this gingerbread man one from Target. I thought he was so cute. And then just another Santa mug that I have had. I'll try to pick up one or two each year to add to my mug collection. But I will say the biggest hit this year so far has been these disposable cups from Hobby Lobby. My daughter specifically loves them she feels like she's drinking a starbucks so that's really fun and i'll probably have to pick up a few more of those Forever, it's christmas today. all snow is falling down all the colored lights lighting up this town as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. For the extra finishing touch, I'm going to add these snowflake lights from Target. I think they are so fun. I love the wood texture and they are great because they are on a battery operated timer. So they will just automatically come on at night and it just gives like a fun glow to this part of our kitchen. But I do end up kind of moving things out a little bit. Everything just kind of seemed a little bit crammed into the corner. So I will share that with you here in just a minute. All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town. And as I walk outside, the Christmas choir sing, Merry Christmas to you. that's going to be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye be you and me hang by the fire chill isn't this how it's supposed to be making a
Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Okay, Isn't this how it's yet? supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, oh. Here, I'll sprinkle some water. Christmas lights, so you should come back home to me.